All right. Um, let's go to the next one. The story on this kid. Or adult, really. Yeah. Um, yeah. He is short. Normal is short. intelligence. Has a big head. Yeah. Lumbar lordosis. Yeah. And dad was older when he had him. Dad was older. So he's dwarf. So he's, that's why he's got the big hands and he's got var varus deformity of the lower extremities. He does. And uh, let's see. Of course, he's got uh, this is an old man. <laughs> it's an beard. older. He's that, older. Is an achondroplasia kind of. Achondroplasia. Kind of, yeah, exactly. Has short hands. Obviously, short stature. They have what they call rhizomelic um, shortening. So the proximal bones, especially the humerus uh -huh. and the femur, are shorter yeah. as well. We'll go through some of the features that we just talked about. Cool. Um, so the short proximal um, limbs that we talked about, the normal intelligence, megalencephaly, uh -huh. um, big brain, mm -hmm. lumbar lordosis, they're prone to, they're prone to caudal narrowing of their spinal canal as well. And they have what is described as a short trident hand. Trident. And it has been associated with um, advanced paternal age as well. Um, it is autosomal dominant, but the majority of the cases are sporadic. And important thing to think about, and because we're going to talk about this in some similar syndromes later, the mutation is thought to be or is known to be in the fibroblast growth factor receptor 3 gene. Okay. okay, so remember that because we're going to talk about some other syndromes that involved a different but similar receptor. All right. Mm. All right. The okay. story on this one. Failure uh. to thrive, like everybody has cardiac defects. Okay. Intellectual disability, might have cryptorchidism, hypospadias, and interestingly is a defect in cholesterol biosynthesis. Oh. Yeah, and if you notice, the second and third toes yeah. are yeah. fused. So fused toes. So some syndactyly of the second and third toes. Yeah. Exactly. Some micronathry, maybe. Yeah, has micronathia. Large, low-set ears. Large, low-set low set ears. Set ears. Are they low-set? Yes. <coughs> yep, they look kind of. a little low. Yeah. Hard to say you with the box. Take yeah. a line Very hard to ride. <coughs> Got a maybe little, uh, their nares are a little upturned as uh -huh. well there. Yep. So, yep. Yeah. Any guess? I think the cholesterol one is a an important thing to remember. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember the name of it because I know the cholesterol was my key word. Uh, do you remember? No. I don't remember. It starts with Smith. And oh. it's Is this Smith Lemley Opitz? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Smith Lemley Opitz syndrome. That is like, whenever I do genetics, I th it, it shoots me back to how long ago it was that I memorized this stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, exactly. oh, That's I had a terrible girlfriend when I memorized that. <laughs> That's where it goes for me. <laughs> I mean, for the most part, many of us just memorize it, and then know, are we going to remember exactly. to remember it or not later? You know, it's like I mean, uh, calculus. Do we exactly. ever use it again? Uh, well, I don't, I don't know about you guys. Um, smith lemley opitz syndrome, yeah. A lot of things that we already mentioned, right. failure to All thrive, right. the uh, microcephaly, the, um, the islotosis, which you can't see, obviously, on this uh, patient, the antivertinaires, the micrognathia that you guys pointed out, syndactyly of the second and third toes specifically, um, cryptorchidism, hypospadias, okay. and so on. Um, but the big thing to remember is a defect in the cholesterol biosynthesis pathway. Okay. All this right. child. Now, this child, a lot of the features are around the eyes, which we have blocked out. So I'm going to give you some other stuff. Okay. Has hmm. a hoarse voice. Okay. Um, they are prone to supravalvular aortic stenosis. Oh. They are prone to hypercalcemia. They might have kidney problems and they might have dental problems as well you got a super cool shirt i'll tell you that right now super cool and it's hey he let, let the yeah. buttons loose there oh, yeah that dude's <laughs> like he's about to let loose on the town otherwise i don't know something is that just big i don't know how you say large mouth but yeah, he has the, very yeah, prominent, prominent, prominent mouth and lips. prominent lips there also yeah mm -hmm. and then maybe low set ears yeah um, that's all I got for You're you. You're not going to, yeah, it's, it, I mean, it's we covered a lot, but a lot if I told you they described them as elfin like faces, does that ring? Elfin? Elfin. Uh, it does ring a bell, but the bell is not very strong. <laughs> the bell is like a bell in the distance through fog underwater in mud. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. Yeah. Oh. So this is a tough one. It's Williams syndrome. Okay. Um, has the elfin like faces, which we'll talk about in a second. We, 
didn't point out the long philtrum as well. Okay. If you looked at the eyes, you might be seeing a stellate pattern to the iris. It's kind of a star shape uh, okay. pattern to it. And I don't know who some... thinks they know what an elf looks like, but yeah, I find well, that to be... Yeah, I'll tell you all the elf-like yeah. uh, features. Yeah. The epicanthal folds, the periorbital fullness, the stellate pattern of the iris, the antiverted um, oh. nares, the long philtrum, and the prominent, prominent lips. lips. Right. That is the elfin-like face. Hmm. All right. And then the oh, things that we talked about already, the supervalvular aortic stenosis is a big um, congenital heart big disease um, issue with this syndrome to remember as well. Okay. And then, again, look for kidneys and dental problems as well with Williams syndrome. All right, let's move on to the next one. Oh, that one looks We sad. have a few yep. picture of this kid. I, I don't like it. This right. kid's big. Okay. Little infant oh, nearly yeah. big. Yeah. I'll tell you, they did an ultrasound of the kidneys, and they were large as well. Okay. Has a very high hemoglobin, polycythemia. Okay. Has a problem with sugar. It's too low. He's hypoglycemic. All right. And a nice little clue to remember on this kid, they have to be screened with alpha feta protein levels and ultrasounds of their abdomen and kidneys for quite a while. Wow. Wow. I mean, I, you know... I see it. Well, well, we talk about what we see. Yeah, so, so we ma- see macroglossia. Macroglossia, I see it first. Yeah. I don't know what if that's there's anything. That's got an emphalocele. That emphalocele. That's an emphalocele. Yeah. Thank, emphalocele. You. Emphalocele. Thank you very there, much. Yeah. That's what it's I see. Sticking out there. What's yeah. with the yeah. hand? Anything there? No. No. I don't think I see anything in the hand, but okay. we do have a positive arrow. Well, there's an arrow right here. there. There's, there's an arrow there. So why don't you compare those two? This one is hemihypertrophy. Yeah, it looks bigger. That's what that is? This looks bigger than that one. I would have called that like lymphedema or something. I would have thought that's what it was. All right, so that arrow sign always helps, doesn't it? Yeah, that arrow sign. Well, didn't yeah, help that's me. A, that's an interesting one because you know, unless you really truly pointed it out. All right, I'm going to name it after myself unless you tell me because I okay, have no Sprite idea. Syndrome. So <laughs> let's talk. You know, we talked about the hypoglycemia, yeah, yeah. the big baby, big kidneys, the ears, the any ears issues. There? No, I don't no, think okay. there's anything major right. with the ears. All right, that one's a nut. A, a you got. No. Nothing. Makes All me right. sad. That's this one's a tough said. one. Beckwith Wiedemann said. Oh, Beckwith Wiedemann. See, Beckwith I could have got Wiedemann. that one. There's only some of these that I could have got. And that was <laughs> well, one of the them. only Darn thing it. that I remember with Beckwith Wiedemann is the macroglossia. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's the big one. Macroglossia. Yeah. And, okay. and these, the macroglossia can be, I mean, this one was mild compared to some is of the that other. Is that right? Okay. Yeah, they can be quite large as well. Okay. Yeah, but the hemihypertrophy, though, you know, is not something that sticks with me as much. Mm-hmm. You know, no, the, macroso- the macrosomia for macrosomia this child. Yeah. Kid, yeah. yeah, the macroglossia, yeah. by the way, yeah. Didn't Gene Simmons of KISS have big tongue, they always said? So I don't know. Yeah. This yeah. One, maybe yeah. he had macrosomia. Maybe he's back with the Yeah, yeah maybe he had, because he's a big Gene, guy also. Gene so. Simmons is yeah. in the, yeah. Uh, so macrosomia, macroglossia, prominent eyes, the inferior orbital hypoplasia, um, the ear creases. I don't think you saw ear creases Oh, of course there, I did. Like, yeah. How yeah. dare you? Ears? I don't of know course I saw it. But yeah, umbilical hernia, the umphalocele that we talked about as well. So hypoglycemia in early infancy because of pancreatic hypoplasia, oh. hyperplasia. Um, and then they're prone to polycythemia as well. But the really important thing about Beckwith-Wiedemann syndrome is they are prone to Wilms, Wilms and hepatoblastoma. Yeah. That's what I remember. So they got to have AFP screening routinely, abdominal ultrasounds to include the kidneys, looking for both hepatoblastoma and the Wilms initially. And then once you're past the hepatoblastoma age, maybe starting at around age four, so you keep on doing at least a renal ultrasound till some people say about seven or eight years of age looking for the Wilms. Okay.